Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Question, you can say what you want to say. As a, but I was still talking to her, I, I didn't finish. But I'm asking you as a deacon, as a deacon, should you teach the women to apply this commandment of God? Okay, so she not wearing modest apparel. Now you teaching the women in your church that they should come in and dress like that. Now I'm reading it to you out the Bible. Are you teaching women that they should be walking around like that right now? Yes or no, deacon? But is you teaching them that they should dress like that? Yes or no? You're not doing it. You're not doing it. So go ahead and make your statement. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. That's what you gotta do, y'all. Separate yourself once you come into this Bible from people that's gonna try to get you to go against the Bible. Now, you shave your head, you don't. Cool. You ain't in transgression. Give me numbers for 10. I'm going to show you another command. You with me, sis? So guess what you got to do? Get you a what? Get you a dress. A modest dress. Now, I know who your mama dress. I know you're not going to wear nothing like that, but you got to get you a long dress. Come to the school. Let the sisters show you. They make dresses. They take pants that they used to have, they cut them, and they make them into a dress. So you ain't even got to throw your pants away. They can make them into a dress for you. You, you understand? Because I know a lot of our people ain't got money, but they got a whole, our women got a whole bunch of pants. They can convert those pants into dresses. That way you ain't got to go spend all your money. We here to help our people. Change. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for change. And the Christian church ain't teaching you change. Because once you start teaching change, our people don't want to give you that money no more. They ain't coming no more. You can't smoke weed, Pastor? No, you can't smoke weed, sir. Oh, damn, I'm done with this church. I'm gonna go to a church that'll sell me smoking weed. That's who I'm getting my money to. Right. That's why the pastors don't teach it. Read. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. So we are the children of Israel. Right? You gotta go? No, no, I So we gonna have I'm up to the school. What you doing today? You gotta work. You, you work every Saturday. Try to try to get Saturday off. Come up to the school. We gonna have, what time you get off work? Yeah, your phone, sir. Come up to the school. Give you After you get off. Yeah, you have your phone. We still gonna be open. Subscribe to the channel. We open at ten. Back of the flyer. Ten a.m. We gonna be in at ten p.m. Oh, we keep the Sabbath day holy. Yeah. So it's different classes. If you could come, we open at 10 a.m. You say, hey, I can stay for two hours before I go to work. Come. If you say, hey, I get off at 5 o'clock, I can make it there at 5.30. Come. He'll show you how to do it. We got you. We're going to help you out. You got me? I got you. Let me do this one, and you can ask your question. I'm going to read you this commandment. Let me read you this commandment. You can leave. He was a deacon. We studied on Sunday. Cool. I got you. Hey, soldier. Hey, get that water out of my car right quick. Yeah. So, yeah. You ain't paying attention. Read. Verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make bridges in the border of their garments. So we as a people, we as the children of Israel, we're supposed to have bridges in the borders of You know that, sis. Okay, cool. So the, these are for a reason. So this is the commandment I'm going to get to you in Jesus. So we're supposed to have these are friends. This is what you call friends. It's for a reason though. Watch this. Read. Throughout the generation. Throughout your generation. How long is that? Forever. As long as you generate on the earth. The children of Israel should be out of fringes in the borders of their garment. Watch this. Read on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And on the top of the fringe you put the ribbon of blue. He's going to tell you why we do this, read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe 
that ye may look upon it. That we may look upon the bridge and remember. And what? Remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. That we remember all the commandments. You know what I ain't going to tell you? Even though it might run through my mind, I look at my friends and say, I shall not kill. Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. Good. That's what these friends, you know when I see my sister, I say I'm not going to try to knock her down. I'm married. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You look at them fringes, it reminds you of God's commandments. Remember, you're an Israelite, you gotta keep God's commandments. You just can't be sticking your feet in the weekend everything you see. You know why I'm not gonna commit fornication? Because I look at my fringes and say, Thou shalt not commit fornication. That's what these fringes are for, to remind us to keep God's commandments. Because you know why? Watch what the Lord says. And it shall be unto you, my friends, that ye shall look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them Read. and that ye shall seek not after your own heart. So we won't seek after you know we like to do our whole thing. Your heart is your mind according to the Bible. It say we go off what we feel. So God say no wear these fringes to always remind you put that damn blood down. You're not supposed to smoke weed. You're an Israelite. Keep God's commandments. Don't defile your temple. Don't put the cigarette down. Remember God's commandments. You understand? You with me? This is one commandment, but there's many more, like adultery, murder, stealing, killing. Is that not taking place in our community? You know why? Because the pastors don't teach the Bible. The deacons don't teach the Bible. You know what I'm saying? 4-1. You gotta go. What you doing today? You work every, every Saturday? Yeah. Try to get Saturday home, man. What time you got to, uh, what time you gotta go to work on Saturday? It ain't 4 o'clock. No. No, you good, bro. It ain't, it's definitely, it's only one set of ten. So guess what you can do? You, so you don't work in the morning. You can come to the school, we open at 10 a.m. And then you can leave, you can say, you know what, I gotta leave at 12. You can do 10 to 12. Come in and learn. Or 10 to 1, 10 to 2, however long you stay. The address and the phone number on that. Give me a, give us a phone call. Call that number. Uh, I, I am, man, because I, like, every time. Talk to the like yesterday, because I was going to look, so I know I got to do it. It was like the second time I ran into her, she was like, this, she was like, this guy. Hold on, sis, I want to show you something. Come here. Because I told her, I'm like, man, like, I don't understand why, uh, she's like, me and Jesus, and the wife, and I'm too. I know what you're going to show me. What I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you more than that. Well, it's the most of them. I'm going to read something that we got to change the heart of our people. Give me, get, call that number, you're going to speak to me. Call that number, I'm gonna talk to you. Cause I wanna show you something. No problem, bro. Hey, no more what's your name again? Bro. Mike. Mike, my name's Zephaniah. So when you call that number, I'm gonna speak to you. Okay. All right. Now, sis, what do the Bible ask us to do as a people? To what? Change. Give me uh, Ephesians. Right, give me Ephesians 4 and 22. Let me read this scripture to you, sis. What, you, so you know you're an Israelite, right? And you gotta keep the commandments. What's going on? What you need help with? Nothing. I just wanted to take a picture of you guys. You do? So why you ain't coming visit us? You know we got a school. Because I, I'm, I'm too busy visiting God. You're too busy visiting God? So you know about the dress code, right? Yeah, I do. So why you ain't uh, uh, doing it? I got my fringes and I got my women pants on. Men's not, you going to wear these pants? Ain't no such thing as uh, women pants. You going to wear these though? Men's, men's can wear these? They no, man. I, I wouldn't wear those. But ain't pants. no such yeah, thing as men, men. women's pants. Where you learn that at? But what do it say? Do we not wear pants in the Bible? Oh, give me that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm going to show it to you. You ain't know that was in the Bible? Pants? Pants. No, we not supposed to wear pants. That's uh, Exodus 28. Yeah. About linen breeches. You know that verse? You also, you also could do... Uh, women not supposed to wear pants. No, I said, do the Bible say that we are not supposed to wear pants? The Bible says, I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read it to you right now. Exodus 28, verse 30. Seven. Daniel 3 and 21. Oh, I don't know if that. I got one question though. I got you, bro. Let me, let me show her this. I got you. Well, you I'm can hear me. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's, you know, we're, we're not under the old law. Anymore. We're not under the old law. So, what are we under? We are under the law. What are we under? We're under the. Uh, uh, we're under the grace of Jesus. Grace of no. Okay. So, we can do what we want to do now. Well, exactly. No, oh, okay. So I can, I can, in my mind, right now, I can. What I'm saying about what 
you said about the I'm asking. You, you, no, no. Like what I'm saying is, in the, New, in the Old Testament, right? In the Old Testament, you read about rape. So we're not under that no more. I can rape her. How would you say? Because we're not under it anymore. Don't, don't tell me what I'm saying. You I'm said. I'm addressing what you said. That no, I'm, I'm I don't just, disagree with what you said in terms of, you know, what the Bible, Bible is, is saying in the Old Testament and as it goes into the New Testament, how the Spirit was in my grace. Okay? Which so, separates us because of the Separates us from the Old Covenant, right? So you're saying we don't have to keep the laws in the Old Testament. I'm not saying that. So what are you saying? Whatever religion you whatever religion you attest to, you know. It's only one God in the Bible. It's only one God. The religion that you follow is false. Is than, than the, the religion that you follow is false. It's the white man doctrine. Believe it or not, you're not following God. When you come up here and say we're under grace and the whole covenant is done away with, you're under a false doctrine. I'm gonna show you that in the New Testament that we gotta keep God's laws. Now let me get this for this sister. Now I'm going to show it to you, brother. What's your name? Uh, brother. There's only one way to love him. Yeah. Keep his right. Now we're going to read that. We're going to read a commandment. Watch this. Where, where's the commandments written at? In the Old Testament. Read. Exodus chapter 28, verse 40. And for Aaron's sons, thou shalt make goats, and thou shalt make for them. 42. 42. And thou shalt make for them linen breeches. You know what breeches is, brother? What's breeches? They used to say it back in the South. Pull your breeches up. Your pants. So now listen. The Bible says for Aaron and his sons, thou shalt make them linen breeches or pants. Read. To cover their nakedness. Because when we came out of Egypt, you know what the Egyptians, the customs that the Egyptians had us wear? They called kilts or skirts. God said, not no more. I won't. I, now watch this. Read on. I'm just going to read it. From the lines, even unto the thighs even unto the thighs from the lords down to the thighs they shall reach and they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons down here sister watch this watch this read on when they come into the tabernacle of the congregation so now linen breeches linen breeches was pants sister they was pants now give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5 because she said show me in the Bible, what God say women is not supposed. Side. Show me in the Bible. You say, show me in the Bible, what God say women is God not supposed to wear pants. I'm gonna show it to you. Do it around me. Give us a call, sis. 22, verse you got five. You got the flyer? Okay, ready. Do it around me. 22, verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is that talking about, sis? What else? What pertains to a man? Let's read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment? What's woman? Okay, so women's garments is what? A dress, you just said. Something pertaining to a man. These guys are pertaining to a man. No, no, no. Listen to me. A man not going to wear this. Those are leggings, right? Yeah. No, we're not going to wear leggings. Ain't nothing wrong with wearing leggings, but you wear pants, right? No. You don't wear pants. I don't wear man pants. I don't so wear pants. Like Where you go? I don't wear them kind of pants. You don't wear pants. Okay, but you got leggings. You know what those leggings was created for? So you understand, you understand that women not supposed to wear pants, right? Right. And men not supposed to wear dresses. Give me first Timothy 2 and 9. Now let's go to the New Testament about what you're wearing right now. You think it don't state that in the Bible? No, I'm being I'm going to show you. Watch this. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. In like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Hey bro, give us a call. Give us a call. With shame facedness. What's your modest apparel, modest sis? Apparel. Meaning you'll be what? Not covering, not showing my skin. Not just, not just showing your skin. You're not supposed to be showing anything. You're supposed to have on a modest dress. When you Google modesty, guess what's going to pop up? A woman with a long dress on because you're supposed to be covered up. Those, what you have on now, was created to go under the under the dress to keep you warm in the wintertime. Right. Hey, you understand, sis? You're not supposed to be dressed like that. Teach. You with me? So guess what? 
you got to come amongst us, sister. You got to come amongst the other sisters and learn. What you doing today? Today the Lord's Sabbath. Uh, I got to go take care of my sisters that's sick. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Today the Lord's Sabbath. I got, I'm with you. I'm with you. She's going to go. Today the Lord's Sabbath, right? No, the Sabbath started uh, yesterday at Eve. Friday oh. sundown to Saturday sundown. Yeah. No. Friday sundown to... My, uh, my Sabbath started six Saturday and, and six o'clock to Sunday. Say it again. It starts, it starts um, uh, from six Yehuda. to six. Um, Bring that big big one out too. That, that silver can. Man told the key back. Come get the key. Hurry up. Come on, son. Man told y'all yeah. that Sabbath starts on Friday. The Bible says that, sis. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. What you say? One thing I was going to share with you. Yeah, I've been a deacon since 2025. You're still a deacon today. Oh, let me ask you something before you... According to what we just read, should women dress modest or not? We just read about the Bible. Well, I'm not going to get into that debate. But we just read it. What I wanted to share with you... You don't believe in the Bible. You know, let's read it one more time for the brother. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. As a deacon, should you teach the women? Listen, brother. As a deacon, should you teach the women to wear modest apparel? Yes or no? Hey, brother, did you get a flyer? Bro, yo. Now, as a deacon. As a deacon, I'm asking you one question. You can say what you want to say. As a, but I was still talking to her. I, I didn't finish. But I'm asking you as a deacon, as a deacon, should you teach the women to apply this commandment of God? Okay. So she's not wearing modest apparel. Now you teaching the women in your church that they shouldn't come in and dress like that. Now I'm reading it to you out the Bible. Are you teaching women that they shouldn't be walking around like that right there? Yes or no, deacon. But is you teaching them that they shouldn't dress like that? Yes or no? You're not doing it. You're not doing it. So go ahead and make your statement. Go ahead and make your statement. To answer my question, you're not doing it. I already know. But go ahead, deacon. Hey, sis, you got a flyer? Sis, you come on now. You got a lot you got to learn. Check out videos out on YouTube. Give us a phone call. Okay, I just simply you. wanted to mention that I'm in the Bible study every Sunday night and Tuesday night. And you believe Sunday, Sunday is the day of the Lord? I'm just putting that out there. Yeah, I know you believe that. You know, this is when we, when we hang right down to the second floor. Okay. Uh, my nephew used to be the middleweight bar in the champion in the world. 2013, 2015. What that got to do with the Bible, brother? That me? That me? Deal with me with the Can Bible. Explain it? Come on. He's a man of God now. He's retired. You know, he's a man of God. He uses his platform to reach people, you know. And uh, we have about 30 people on every Sunday and Tuesday all across the United States that get into and study the Word of God. That's all I wanted to say. But, but my question to you as a deacon, 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 you don't even believe we got to keep God's commandments. You give me that scripture real quick. I, I, now, I, I, you believe in Sunday worship, right? Yes or no? I, you know why you don't want to say anything about what you believe in? Because we're going to come against you. We're going to destroy it with the Bible. You know why you don't want to say anything about what you believe in? Because we're going we're gonna to destroy it with the Bible. You believe in Sunday worship. You don't believe that you should teach the women that they shouldn't dress the way their sister would just dress. And we read it out the Bible. What I'm the, but, you, but do you know the, email, Do you know what you supposed to do as a deacon? We don't need your email because you're not teaching the truth. Okay, well, that's what you What's your email gonna do for me to come and join your church? No. So deacon, I just read to you. Y'all not studying. Y'all not studying. I just read to you. What's your nationality, deacon? According to the Bible, what's your nationality? I'm a Gentile. You're a Gentile. How can you prove to me you're a Gentile? I'm going to prove it to you. Now, watch this. No, not just because I'm wearing fringes. Let me show you. No, I'm going to read it out. The, let's read it out the Bible. How we know it. Now, I'm going to prove it to you. You ask me, Deacon, you ask me, I'm going to show it to you. Let me show it to you. Deuteronomy 1, verse 1. Let me show you how we know we the Israelites. This not us just walking around saying, yeah, we the Israelites. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to read three scriptures. No, we're going to go back to the Bible. We're not going back. We ain't using nothing but the book. Let's prove to you that we the Israelites, that you're Israelite, you're not a Gentile. Read. 
Deuteronomy. Bring it out. One, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses was speaking to the Israelites. God told Moses to tell the Israelites what's going to happen to them in the future. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, that all these curses shall come upon thee and all else. Overtake thee. So God told the Israelites that curses will happen to them in the future if they was to break the commandments, right? That's what we just read. So now, we're going to go into some of the curses. Let me finish. Okay, we're going to go into the curses that happened to the Israelites to prove. So the curses is whoever these curses fell upon, they're the Israelites. Let's prove that. Give me verse uh, 40. That, upon your sons and, and upon your daughter. Yeah, I, verse 40, I, I, verse 41. No, 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 I won't. Deuteronomy 28, verse 40. What a, what a verse said where it says, that shall be a body for a sign. Hold on, deacon. 46, 47. Hold on, deacon. And for, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed. Forever. So the curses was going to be upon the Israelites for a sign. A sign you have to shows you where you are. Like we're standing on 70th and Ashley. How do we know we're on 70th and Ashley? From the sign. So the curses are going to be upon the children of Israel for a sign to help them identify who they are Bring it in out. the future. Right. Because the Israelites lost their identity in slavery. That's right. Watch this. Verse 48. Watch this. Verse 48. Therefore. Shalt thou serve thy enemy, which yeah. the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. So we serve our enemies for food and for something to drink, right? Who do we got to go to for food and water? Who do we got to front? It's a simple question. Who do we got to go to if we want food or if we want something to drink? What race of people? It's okay, brother. Nobody's, we ain't hate nobody. It's just a true fact. Who do we got to get our food and water from? white man. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Read on. Watch this. And therefore shall thou serve thy enemy, which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. So anything we want. I'm going to finish the verse. Let me finish the verse. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, we do. But listen. Hold on, Deacon. Deacon. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, because you say you're a Gentile, and I'm showing you you're an Israelite. I'm showing you you're an Israelite, and you're not a Gentile. But listen, Deacon. Okay, look, I'm going to cut it down, sir. Now, Deacon, Deacon, you say, I'm cutting it down. You said that you're a Gentile. I'm going to put the mic down. You said that you're a Gentile, right? And I'm showing you you're not a Gentile. You're an Israelite, according to the Bible. You're an Israelite. Right, you're an Israelite. You're the Israelite. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.